Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, good to see you all again. We are here today with Dr. Liz Lister, Dr. Liz MD, one of our favorite, favorite people. Dr. Liz, good to see you again. Likewise, thank you. Hey, uh, your book, uh, famous book, Thrive, the Gu is it the guide to thrive at any age? Yes, yep. Always makes me think, I, always makes me think of living longer. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you, if you can thrive, in your 50s and your 60s, 70s, 80s, you're, you're going to live as long as God will let you. There it is. That's the book. Yeah. That's the one. So you, you, uh, you know a lot about living longer, and you've done uh, a lot of reading on it. What's the latest? The latest is a really cool book called Age Later. Age Later by Dr. David Barzilai who's a pretty well-known researcher now in uh, around the world. And he specializes and he's running a study looking particularly at people who are living to be 100. He's called, he calls them super agers. And he's looking at super aging genes and what do they have? What do these people have in common? Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. So and it's uh, kind of like it's right up Arts Alley because he's planning on living to I have a, I have a 25 year rolling plan so in probably 15 or 20 years from now I'm going to look this doctor up if he's still alive and uh, share with him what I've done wonderful he'll be interested good so, so but he he does have some tips he does that's exactly right he's looked at what do these folks have in common which I always find is very interesting one, the first item on his list is not something we have control over, and that's our genes. So I'm just, everyone listening needs to pick good genes. It's always good to pick good parents <laughs> when it comes to these kinds of things. That helps. Yeah. yeah, it helps a lot. So that's the first one. But luckily, there's five more tips or aspects of these folks that he has found that they have in common. Shall I share those? Please. I thought those would be interesting to our audience. The second one, which is extremely fascinating, and I believe we're planning on doing a whole segment on it soon, and that is social connections. Social That's connections. That these folks who are routinely living to be 100, in good health, by the way, not 100 with deteriorating health. All right, think George Burns. I, I, by the way, I asked my 23-year-old son the other day if he'd ever heard of George Burns, and he had not. So I need <laughs> to find some videos and, and bring my kids up to speed on these classics. Bob Hope, George Burns, right? The, 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 the cigar and the glass of whiskey, and he still lived, right, super, super old, nice and old. Yeah. So social connections, very, very important. I always think of my aunt who's in her mid-80s and, and her dancing all right, so this is very, uh, very much a common feature of people who live in good health uh, into a very, uh, not just old age, but what he's calling super aging. So you're, talk you're talking about uh, uh, people who are, uh, uh, and I, I assume that we're not talking about other things like uh, there are some people who otherwise live good lives but will develop dementia or will uh have cancers and things like that but uh, these are these are the kind of tips to help beat the odds to give you some correct up. that's ex that's right that's absolutely correct mm. okay this and then the next one the third one which to me goes along a little bit with the social connections and that is meaningful work oh Meaning that's interesting isn't that I, I think it's interesting and i think it's really nice and so it doesn't necessarily mean career or profession. It can include volunteer work. Sure. It's, it's uh, keeping your, your mental um, focus on something. Correct. It, mm -hmm. That matters to you. Yeah. Yeah, that matters to yeah. you. Yeah. Now, would, do you suppose that would include uh, hobbies? For instance, I, I can yes. think of... Uh, I think back to uh, the days when I was doing a lot of automotive television shows. There were a lot of guys who 
whose hobby was working on their car. Yes. But they would spend, you know, 40 hours a week doing it for no right. money. It's just they wanted their car to look good or run fast or things like that. Yes. You know? What I was gathering from this particular study is that it was work that was more oriented towards others. So mm. I'm not sure exactly what this doctor would say as far as hobbies. Uh, definitely relevant. However, this particular commonality had to do with meaning that was imparted by service to others. Ah, okay. Good. Whether it was paid or not. Good to know. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. So I can, I can see that application in, you know, like a classic car show that raises money for a community, something sure. like that. So sure. that was the commonality and the way he describes it is as meaningful work. Yeah. Right. Okay. The fourth one, which we will definitely do another segment on, he describes it as they kept, they keep moving. These folks keep moving. They're not just exercise, but regular activities, walking. They are, they're not sitting at a desk all day. Yeah. Or, or, so, or uh, to use our example, uh, it's a no rocking chair zone. They're not just sitting around, yes. sitting as a lump yes. on a couch or in a, awesome. in a rocking chair. That's beautiful. That's right. Exactly. The logo, your logo with the circle and the line through it. That's exactly yeah. That's so right. It's, 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 not about, um, it's not about exercise per se, uh, push-ups or uh, strength. Or any, it's really about mobility. Mm. Correct. And Get also, up and, and move around. You got it. You got it. And, and keeping moving. Yeah. So not just what, whatever it is, it's not just sitting still. Yeah. Yeah. I'm that's all. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great topic that we will definitely expand on another time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The so fifth that's, one, uh, that's four. That's four. The yep. fifth one out of the six is they had in common. Okay, I'm going to describe the foods, and then you gentlemen will probably guess what this is usually called. So what they had in common was they ate a lot of foods that boost HDL. HDL is the good cholesterol, and it is protective of cardiovascular for the cardiovascular system. So foods that boost good cholesterol. I'll tell you some that they are included. Olive oil, fatty fish like salmon, nuts beans, whole grains, avocado, possibly red wine, as long as it's not too much. What does that sound like? What do you think that that sounds Mediterranean like? Mediterranean diet? You got it. That's yeah. exactly right. That's yeah. exactly right. right. And That's so it. I'm moving to Italy. That's <laughs> it. That's for me. But it also, yeah. so it also sounds like it's uh, uh, vegetarian, moving towards vegetarian and less... Uh, yes. Meat eating. Yeah. Yes, indeed, indeed, mm. it does sound like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, have have, have something for my for my tribe of uh, vegetarians. <laughs> yep. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So so and, now is the sixth one coming up going to be yeah the, the the zinger? Well, it might be a little bit underwhelming, but here we go. The last one of the six commonalities that he describes um, of these super agers is eating smaller portions. Ooh. Mm. It's a little anticlimactic. However, what the way I summarize it is less food intake overall. Okay, we've talked about this. It, it, people do it in a lot of different ways. They do fasting in different ways. They do smaller portions. They do occasional calorie restriction in different ways. It didn't really matter. It wasn't one way, one size fits all or one method right. in everyone. Right. But overall, it was described as just smaller portions of food. Sure. You know, we have a problem now. The plates have gotten bigger. Cups are bigger in restaurants yeah. and fast food joints but airplane and, seats so, are not getting bigger they're getting smaller no those are getting smaller 
they're getting smaller right. along with the right. seats. Yeah. Right. While people are getting bigger, it's not a good combination. That's so. right. Well, obesity is a big problem in our country. So indeed, indeed. And as we get not older, that Art or I would know anything about it. Not not much at all. Uh, but uh, as we get older, we don't need as many calories to sustain us. Yet we are used to eating these larger portions and and what have you. So if we continue that with less need, because many of us, even if we are active, I go to the gym quite often, still don't burn as many calories as we did when we were younger. Right, right. So and maybe, maybe so we... I can see how it all fits together because yeah. if you... Right. If you keep moving, you'll burn more calories. And uh, if you ate a Mediterranean-style diet and... and not just increase your HDL, but think about the foods that you mentioned. They're relatively low calorie foods. Exactly. You didn't any meat. And so if you did that and just ate a little bit less, I can see how you could be healthier. So maybe what we can do for everybody, uh, and this is a fascinating uh, subject matter, is uh, maybe we can review those six uh, uh, points that uh, we made during the show. If Absolutely. You Thank you. Sure. You bet. All right. First, to the degree that we can, we have to pick good parents, have good genes. That was number one in common with these folks. Number two, maintaining social connections. Number three, meaningful work, whether it's paid or volunteer work that is meaningful to you and provides service to others. Number four, keep moving. Keep moving, not just exercise or workouts, but in between. Keeping moving, walking, not sitting too much, too long at a time. Number five, foods that boost your good cholesterol, which essentially turns out to be pretty much the Mediterranean diet. And last but not least, smaller portions. Mm. Now, some of those are going to be tougher than others to actually accomplish, at least for me. However, uh, it's a fascinating study. Uh, I look forward uh, during my 25-year rolling plan uh, to continually get updates uh, on uh, which ones I should emphasize. But uh, I think what we'll do is uh, uh, in, the, in the notes below uh, the uh, uh, video is uh, put the name of uh, the doctor and the, the materials that people can refer to. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, they can always go right. to your website uh, and uh, see articles that you write on this and many other important subjects yeah. to successful uh, aging. Yeah, and we shouldn't underestimate um, the fact that your website is full of great blogs, great articles on all kinds of things, including uh, this, as I'm sure you're yes. gonna, you do yeah. a blog on it. Well, thank you once again, and um, a really fascinating subject, as most are, that uh, we discuss and that you bring to our attention. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Likewise. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.